Welcome back everyone. Here's the state where we left our Angular 2 Weber app the last time. We, well, we have a nice looking app already, but currently we're not fetching any data from the internet. We're not really fetching any Weber data. I want to start with this now though, because I think now it's actually time to, well, add this very important feature to this application. Now to get data, I will use openweathermap.org because they have an API which you can freely access to get weather data. Now the access is free, but you will need an API key to, well, to do access. It doesn't cost anything, but you will have to sign up. And you may just click this link here and then sign up to get your API key. Specifically, we will use this current weather API. And here you got a documentation on how to get the weather for certain city names and so on. And this will be exactly the API endpoints we will use, of course. Now, in a first step of this app, I won't implement the auto search functionality that it would uh, suggest a, a city matching your, your typing here, but I will just make it that you have to type a correct city, then click add city. And if this city exists and is found by the API, you will get the weather for it. And the next step, I will of course also add the other functionality. So provided that you signed up and got your API key, let's go back into the editor and make the required changes. In the weather service here, I want to add a new function and I will name this function search weather data, for example. And then this function will take a city name, which should be a string as an input. And it will, of course, return an observable, which will hold some response data object. Now to do this, I will need the Angular 2 HTTP service. So I will inject this in the constructor. I will also bind it to my private HTTP field here. So HTTP to use the Angular 2 service. And of course you need for one, this Angular 2 slash HTTP import here. And you also need to make sure that you provide these HTTP providers in your boot.ts file and in your index HTML that you are importing this HTTP module or package of Angular 2. Also what I will add right away, since we will add it or need it anyway, is the import of all the RxJS operators, like the map operator, which we will use on the observable. Now, if you're totally new to Angular 2 HTTP, I recommend you watch one of my other videos where I explain more about it. I will take for granted here that you know how to generally use it and that it returns an observable and so on. So what I will do here is I will return, of course, something and the something is such an observable, which I will get from Angular 2's HTTP service. And since I want to get data, I will use get. And now I need to provide the URL, which I want to access. Now back on in my API documentation here for the current weather. You see that we want to find it by city name here, of course. So what we need is this URL. So we'll just copy that and then enter it here as a string. And at the very end, I will need to replace this city with the city name we're getting here as an argument. So city name. Also, I will append my API key. And I do this by using and, and then app ID is the query parameter open weather map will look for app ID equals, and this should equal your key here. So here's the place where you should enter your API key for this to work. I will enter mine in a second. I will also add another query parameter with an and sign here. And this is optionally, you don't have to do this, but I will set my units to metric since I'm in Europe and we have the metric system. But if you're in the US, you may of course leave that out or set it to, let's see, what is this? What's the other option? You can see it down here, units format. Um, you can set it to Imperial to get Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. 
So these are your choices. So I now got this set up here, but the next step of course is to add the map operator to transform the response we get back. So I want to take the data part of this response and get it back as a JSON object, which I do by using the JSON method on this response we're getting back. Also, if we should get any error, what I want to do is I will get take this error and then for one, output it in the console. And as another step, very important, this still needs to return an observable. So I will return observable throw and then here I may pass the error or the well extracted error. So this basically does the same as the map function here, but it does it for well the error case. And by calling JSON on the error, what it will get is the actual error data attached to this error with some information probably as a JSON object, which we could use in a more elaborate um, error handler. So we get this and this is fine for now. Now with this being set up, the next step leads to this weather search component where I can submit my form in this onSubmit method. And when I click this onSubmit, I want to actually go out to the service and get the weather data for the city I entered here. So in order to do this, I will well, access this method in my service and therefore I will first inject my service here. So private weather service. And of course I also need to add my providers here. And here again, if this is totally new to you, I recommend checking out the video on dependency injection I have. But basically what I'm doing here is again telling Angular 2 how to create such a weather service which I require here. So with this, I can now access it here, which I will of course do. And I can call search weather data here. And I will pass, of course, well, the city name entered, which is, well, the, my form here. And I don't want the form as a whole, I want the value, which is a JSON object representation of this form. And I know that I will have a control of location, so I can access this like this in this JSON object. And this will, well, pass it into this function. Now, in order to fire this request, of course, I have to subscribe to this observable. Otherwise, nothing will happen. We just configured it. We're not sending it yet. So now in the subscribe method, I want to handle the case that I get back some weather data. And what do I want to do with this data then? I want to create a new weather item and I want to add this to the array of dummy weather items I have until now. So in order to do this, I will look here at my weather item, which currently they have a city, then the description of the weather and the temperature. So I will create a new method in my service, which I will call add weather item. And this will expect a weather item of type weather item, of course. What this will then do is simply use my weather items array and push onto it this new weather item. Back in the weather search here, I will create this weather item, which I want to pay pass later. So I will create a new weather item. And as always, make sure you're importing all these classes, these um, modules we're using here. And of course, my weather item expects some input here. It wants a city name, the description of the weather, and it wants the temperature. Now, how can we get this data from our response? Let's see what we get as a response first. So, oops, I was already there. If we have a look at an example response, this is what we will get back, this JSON object. We see we have the name here, so we can access a field name in this JSON object. We got a weather item, which is an array of JSON objects where the first um, object in this array 
seems to have a good description of the, of the weather. You may also use this description, whichever you like, clouds or just broken clouds. So I will use broken clouds here. And then the temperature can be found here under main. Now, this is of course Fahrenheit, I'd guess, pretty warm otherwise. But if you requested it with the metric system, you will get back Celsius. So this is in the main object and then the temp, or maybe we want to temp min, whatever you prefer. So in order to get this, I will first get the city name by accessing data and then name, because remember, this is top level field in our data object here. Next, I want to get the description of the weather, which we can get by accessing dot weather, then the first item of the array, and then dot description. So let's do this data, then weather, the first array item, and then description. And as a last step, I want to access the temperature which I can find under main and then temp. So let's try this data main temp. This should construct a weather item which contains all the information we want our weather items to have. So let's try to add this to our array. I do this by calling this weather service add weather item and then of course the newly created weather item here. Now the problem we would have here is this would not update our list because we're providing weather service in this class, which would create a new instance. We want to use the same instance we use here in our list. So in order to do this, I will get rid of this provider here too, and I will instead provide it here in the bootstrap method so that all our classes and components use the same instance of this weather service. So now before I try this out, I will set my API key and then we will test this. So in the app here, I'll just re reload for safety reasons. I'll try to search for Berlin. And well, we have a problem with the URL here. This should of course be HTTP at the beginning. Otherwise, as you see here, it looks on the local host. So I'll insert my key here and then try this again. So just reload this and let's try looking for Berlin again. And as you can see, it added it here. That looks good. I'm sitting in Berlin. I can confirm this information here is correct. So let's try New York. Okay, clear sky. All the New Yorkers, can you confirm that today is uh, 20th of April? This is the weather? I sure hope so. And this is how we reach out to the internet to fetch our data.